We're broadcasting. Mm. No broads and broadcasting. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, what's the, uh, like, um, counterpoint mm. to broads? Like, fellas? Broads and... Yeah, g- yeah, fellas, gents. Broads. Uh, Isn't that great? Uh, you know, when Betty White passed away? Mm-hmm. And, like, uh... They were doing the, you know, the in memoriams and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, shit, that girl was like, she like was there when TV started, you know? Like she was on radio almost when it started. Yeah. And she was like literally there when like TV started, when it was just like schleps in like a a room trying to figure out how you broadcast on TV, you know? Isn't that that's amazing? Is it twitch.tv yeah. slash Volpe Creates? Yes, it is. Mm. I should probably check the... Uh, which one calls it the volumes, but I'm going to eat my chicken. Baby, you're not getting this chicken. I guarantee you, out of all the things in this house, you are not getting this. Baby's allergic to chicken, for those listening in. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, not like deathly, but like... You I'm regretting all those chickens I would feed her whenever you go out. <laughs> and those, like, those full chickens? Eating. Yeah, I would just be like, well... I would just go into, like, you know, one of the, that sketchy garage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm knocking every friggin' thing around here. Oh, my God. Let me... Um, I guess I can just spin this. Look at that shit. Okay, let's do <coughs> that. Yeah, when we first got her and we brought her home, you know, when we first found her on the side of the road, uh, we just fed her what we were feeding the other dog. Yeah. And then when we went to bed, we, you know, brought her up into the, the bed and she was sleeping in the bed with us. And she just was antsy and like she ended up having like a mess in the bed. Mm. And I'm like, oh, God. So we cleaned it up, and we took her outside. Fuck this dog. You just put her in a mailbox. Well, po- alarm. Shit, sorry. part of it was... Uh, can I just pause, pause it? it? Yeah, you can just press that button there. Great. So part of it was, like, we found her on the side of the road, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, both of us thought, did somebody, like, get rid of this dog? Does this dog have, like, cancer or something? And is going to be super expensive and problematic or whatever? Right. Um, and so we, uh, um, uh, we fed her like some rice and stuff, did like the, the brat diet mm-hmm. to like, kind of get her and she seemed okay. And then she just kept having problems. So we took her to the vet. They tested her for parasites and all this stuff. And Tina and I were just like, Oh God, what's wrong with this dog? You know? Yeah. Um, and she was, you know, obviously she was such a sweetie. Like she was a little scared because like she didn't know any of us, but she mm-hmm. was very, you know, she took to the bed and everything, but she kept having these like. I'm, I'm like going to be descriptive here. Wife. Yeah. Took to the bed. Yeah, took to the bed. But it was, uh, took to the bed or took the bed? Um, Both. But she, the, her stools were like these like fatty, gross, bloody kind of things. Like yeah. they weren't even like, hi baby. What if our listenership just went through the roof after that? Like yeah. that hit an algorithm? Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure Disgusting Baby will be of uh, interest to many people. So anyway, the, the vet... She tested fine, like no signs of any intestinal issues, you know, no cancers or anything, no parasites. So the vet gave us like this, uh, you know, formulated diet thing. And uh, we tried that and like in two days she was like perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So we finished that out and she was good to go. And so we just put her back on the food that we could give in the other dog. And it came right back. And that's when Tina and I were like, oh, she's allergic to something in the food. Mm -hmm. And so when we looked at the food, we were like, all right, let's, let's try. There's like uh, Blue Buffalo is a brand that will do like no wheat, no chicken, like kind of a, a structured thing. So through figuring it out, through kind of trial and error a little bit, we realized she's she has a chicken allergy and she can't really eat chicken. It totally messes with her. Um, so That's good that you figured that out. <laughs> yeah. She'll convince you otherwise. She'll eat all the goddamn chicken in the world. Oh, yeah. She will regret it. She will regret it. And on that note, welcome to The Last of Us. Okay. I'm glad you came over. I was like, 
exhausted. Like today has just been a day, man. I, I woke up tired. I've been nonstop all day. Mm-hmm. And it was one of those things where I was like, oh man, I could just kind of like yeah. sit yeah. and like watch TV or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? It reminded me of like when we were young and we would go to school like all fucking day. And then at like night or in the afternoon, like we'd be jazzed to go play video games together. <laughs> and I was like, how tired can I really be <laughs> having a friend come over for us to play video games, yeah. right? And yeah. it's like a game that I want you to play because I want to see mm-hmm. your thoughts on it. So that kind of like hyped me up um, for for it. So before we start, uh, we finished... Um, last time. Oh, yeah, what, last what did we finish? Summer? Is that where we were? So I think we're on spring or... What are we on? No, we're on fall, right? Yeah, I think I don't know. Wherever. Uh, I think we're on fall. Where do you think the story is going to go based on what you've seen thus far? I'm going to kind of ask you this every time because I want to see where your your thoughts kind mm-hmm. of deviate. Well, we just walked in through this front gate, so I assume that we'll go further into this area that's gated. We're just not going to leave, right? Well, turn turn back around and leave. <sighs> Give me a real answer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was thinking about that a little today. Like, story-wise, you know, this is like him reuniting with his brother. Like, he's meeting his sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got the kid with him. They're, like, a little closer. Uh, they've... I mean, where are they? They're in Washington? No? No, no they're in Wyoming. Wyoming. Now? That's right. Yeah, they're in Wyoming. Still. So they went from, like, fucking Pittsburgh to Wyoming. Yep. I assume predominantly on foot? So this is one of the things I'm going to sort of talk about uh, without spoiling too much. One of the complaints, which I think is a little bit... I understand it, but I also think it's kind of bullshit. In Pumpkin, Last of Us Part 2, is that, like... They're like, everyone's teleporting everywhere, you know? And it used to just, like, this game, it, like, fucking takes forever to get anywhere, right? But I'm like, to be honest, like, I get it because it does seem like characters kind of move from one place to another a little quickly in Last of Us Part Two. But, I mean, we just moved from Pittsburgh to Wyoming in the blink of an eye, right? Yeah. And nobody's complaining about that. Yeah. So. I don't give a fuck, like, about time elapsing. Yeah, so I, I think part of it is understanding within the world of The Last of Us, it is a major pain in the ass to get anywhere. Sure. And it's extremely dangerous, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't tell a story by, like, literally showing every minute of someone's journey. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's going to turn a 15-hour game into, like, a 300-hour experience, <laughs> yeah. you know? Um, but anyway, thoughts. Um... I, yeah. Well, yeah. So that's the thing. Is I was trying to think of like what what's the gameplay going to be like? And I'm imagine... trying to get to Utah just as a okay. That's good. that's helpful. Um, that's where the fireflies are sending us. I'm picturing there might be some initial like, hey, can you go like with so and so on a patrol and like get a lay of the land around here? Uh, maybe like you know like. Corey hasn't checked in, like, mm, okay. and it's like, oh shit, Corey's been mushroomed. Oh, um, but boring. maybe something like that. Uh, more, I'm picturing like a dinner scene of like an awkward, not awkward, but, uh, like a dysfunctional family dinner. Like a reunion scene. between Yeah. Them. Okay. Where the tensions start to bubble over. Um... Yeah, other than that, which I like. Sorry, I'm like, I don't, I don't know, and I like it that way. Normally, I like. How do you think the game's gonna end? Uh, with Joel getting parasited and he's has Ellie uh, just put one in his head. Sorry, my noise. I'm adjusting something. Do you think Joel's gonna get parasited? Yeah. Okay. All right. Have you played the uh, Walking Dead game? Yes. I mean, that's pretty much how the Walking Dead game ends. Yeah, it is. That's why I was like, what did they do? I guess a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. I've been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joe. I had. We'll get it running again. I'm going to 
test our things for saying here. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with it. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? I'm gonna test our things for saying here. Okay, sounds like we're pretty good. Yeah, probably like this for a second. You know, if you want, we can take them riding later. That'd be awesome. I am just going to turn the volume on the game up a bit. Yeah. So I can turn this down since we're sitting right next to each other. Uh huh. Uh, I guess it's a full volume, huh? What about the. That's weird. Can I turn this up? Yeah. Let's try that out. Cool, I lost the opportunity to talk to her. No, you can go around. Just go around the back. No sweat. Around the... Oh. All right, let's continue. To the horse's the butt. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Halva and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. Just a couple more hours. I'll come. Uh, take it easy. The animations are struggling so hard to understand what to do. Like Tommy has turned as you, around as you walk around like a lunatic and like looked up many times. She did it. Go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Get some food. Oh. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. <laughs> this will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week. It feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Sure, I mean, I said I'm good. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I. I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. So I'm going to say this too, and uh, I don't think it'll interfere. I find this section, like, not necessarily like the second, but this portion you're going to go through, I think is like the weakest part of the game. Yeah. But it also has probably one of, if not the best, acted moments in the whole game. You heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. <laughs> this, this poor fucking guy. <laughs> Yo, somebody give him, like, any kind of tool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got it. Hey. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, Steve. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I get, like, an axe or something? Adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence when we plant them. Still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. 
Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. <gasps> I bet this is a good boy. Hey, buddy. That's Buckman. Not much of a guard dog, but a good boy. Very good to have her out. Called it. That he's a good boy. Yep. <laughs> Geniuses gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. Wait if we just finish putting the shield back on. No rush. Well. What's up, babe? Do you gotta go potties? I'm alright. Oh, fuck yeah. Watch it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who's the OSHA manager on charge right now? All right. That's good. Copy here. Go. Give me one second. That's the guy who's pulling the tree out of the fucking turbine. that animation just there the guy like threw his head down to oh to, to get the yeah shield. get yeah. his <laughs> welding mask that was cool have you ever read the stand stephen king huh. uh one of the things they talk about is one of the towns um how it's bringing back power uh, yeah. and they have a team that uh they go and shut all the breakers oh, down hey, they're good men Place gives him a second chance. Give us all a second chance. Why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. Yeah. Go on, then. She's immune. Immune to what? Come on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. Nothing. I wouldn't have believed it neither. I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I'm supposed to deliver to the fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn thing. I haven't seen a firefly in years. But you know where they are. I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear enough to set me on my way. Shh. What makes you think I do this? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. We ain't talking about some walk in the park. Jesus, boy. Have Maria to get some of your born again friends to do it. They got families too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure for mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. What the hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. I don't know if I do. Oh, shit! 
doing your R3 thing. God, why? That'll never get old. Fuck. You know wanna you wanna know what the beauty of it is? What? <laughs> Last of Us Part 2. That's how you turn on the flashlight. So we're gonna be doing this for the next yeah. game and a like, half. Really nuanced game. Oh that was nice. Look at that. Yeah. Little victory flashlight. Yep. You done murdered. Uh, but anyway, I was thinking in the stand they talk about how before they turn the power on they disable all the breakers and then they go section by section house by house because if you just turn on the power after it would it's going to start fires because oh, okay. there, there's all this like you know these things have been sitting around for 20 years molding and fraying and whatever things are chewing you know rats are chewing through them that's a really neat detail Ooh. god damn it I think it might be just that I haven't fucking played with a Sony controller in so long. Also, I think it's very possible that Destiny is playing part somehow. Yeah, I'm sure it's the controller's fault, you know? No, no, no. I'm saying me plus the controller. <laughs> but it's Sony's fault. Now, how do I reload? That wasn't an R2, I think, without pressing. Yeah, there it is. That's my boy. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Surprise! God. You're trying. You're trying to blind him with the flashlight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On your left. That's fucking cool. Appreciate that. You also have your thing. They'll they can see that. Yeah, I was actually trying to get there. Nice. Oh damn, that was brutal. Go to the chapel. <laughs> Good Mary. We're gonna come to you. Just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Maria, goddamn. <clears throat> it really is amazing how much, like, little. Oh, that totally looked like it hit. Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah. Jesus Christ. This is the love game. <laughs> I love making that guy's head go away. I think they did they get the third one? No, nah, yeah, I think he's at least one. Nice. Hmm. Play him on. Oh you missed. I've said this before, but the AI and part two is like crazy good. Ah, oh, that's so fun. There you are. He's too, too right. Get there. your weapons a lot. Is that something you do in like a lot of games? No, more so this. I just like I think it's because I'm trying to be economical with you using the right ammo. Shoot him. I don't think you can hit your Oh Jesus Christ. Just seeing if that guy had a sandwich in him. There you 
to hit you with that one. Tommy, please don't. Oh, hit him. Oh, run, run, run. Oof. Yeah, if you would have hit him, he would have yeah. dropped it on himself. Fuck. Oh, you might have got him, did he? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Thankfully, that we went get to the girls. better than right my away. other. Yeah. Joe, do your thing. Oh, that's awesome. We well, can see you. Do your thing. Yeah, they dropped these like little hints throughout the game. That he was just like a fucking yeah, maniac. Like, yeah, Joel's like a complete lunatic. Oh, you can probably take that guy's legs out. Oh, God. I don't know if he's seeing this. Who this guy? Just go to your right a little bit. Oh, I got his legs. You don't want to get his legs? Oh, I do. And there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you would not be moving like that, son. Nice. Am I, though? The old flash and shoot. <laughs> My eyes! This is very bright! Yeah, there's a, uh, in, in Boston, in, like, the very beginning of the game when you're walking through it uh -huh. uh, with Tess... You can walk by the like two. I forget. I think it's like a guy and a girl. So there's two people talking, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them like is telling a story, and like he looks. If you walk by him, he kind of looks at you and like makes like a smart ass remark, like you know, what are you looking at or whatever. Can and she's I help, like, can I help you? Yeah. And she's like, she's like, oh, we're good, Joel. You know, nice to see you. And as you walk away, she's like, do you know who the fuck that was? You know? Yeah. Oh, God, that's, that's cool. That's not X. This isn't an Xbox controller. Is that? Okay. Jesus, I almost fucking took... Oh, is that Maria? Yeah, I almost... <laughs> took Maria's head off. Do your thing, Joe. They're to your right. Why is he... stopping that? Why is he stopping? You can't go through there? Yeah, or something. Oh. Oh, nice, Ellie. Don't you hate that when, like... I'm fucking bad with this gun. When you've got, like, the perfect shot, and, like, they move just just slightly, that if you would have just... Oh, you knocked his helmet off. Damn, that nice. was Ellie's. <laughs> yeah. Tommy? I'm all right. The kids yeah. <laughs> Thanks, game. I know where they are. I almost took her fucking... Listen, hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Do you have any idea how many men we lost? What's that all about? I'm trying to get rid of you. Does that have anything to do with me? Talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? Talk about it. Later. Later. <sighs> Always later. Right. One fuck, up. one fuck up, and then I turn into one of those widows. Okay. I have to leave. I don't know what else to say. If 
anything. Anything at all happens to him, it's on you. Who the fuck is that? That actor. I don't know. Who plays Maria? Yeah, I don't know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Yo! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. I mean, which way? Come on. <laughs> and the star riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Oh, shit. Be careful out there. <clears throat> Got a nay nay horse. I've already named him. Wait, is it he? I think so. If we focus on the prize, maybe not. Okay. It's. Do you ever play Red Dead 2? Yeah. That's why I'm like, I named those horses constantly. Oh. You can go faster than this one. Come on. She couldn't have gone far. We'll find her. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. She usually pull these stunts. Nothing like this. I was talking to a friend of mine, a previous student, mm -hmm. who just got a job. He's starting like next week at Rockstar, working in their motion capture studio. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were kind of chatting, and I was thinking about like I would love to work at Naughty Dog. Like, I would love to work at Naughty Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I almost kind of don't want to because, like, I want to... If they make A Last of Us 3, they haven't announced it. Yeah. I want to play it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think this is the right way. Only eight. My horse <laughs> Horse tracks. She went into these woods. Come on. Oh, wait. Gotta have to fight a bear. What's that? I'm gonna have to fight a bear. Well, I don't think there's any bears. It's gonna be the giraffes. <laughs> you have to fight a giraffe. You're gonna have to fight a a, a, a uh, infected giraffe. God, that would actually look really cool. Like the uh, fungi, like going up its neck, the way it oh. comes out of like perpendicular from trees. That would be so gross. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, I think in the uh, the um... this seems like this would be beyond treacherous on a horse, like loose gravel. Horses like... are fine. I don't understand how horses function. Like they are amazing animals. But, like, they just don't seem like they should function. Yeah. You know? They're so heavy. Their legs are, like, so small. Yeah. If they hurt themselves, they can't... Do anything. They can't do anything. Yeah. Which is weird, right? That, like... Yeah. If, if you injure one of your limbs, you can't function. You would think that just... <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, you There's would think just evolutionarily yeah. you wouldn't be able to like survive that long but yeah, maybe they don't like whoa, 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 whoa. I got your back. how many you see too goddamn many Come on. go around your, fa you. your favorite gun Oh, you know what? I bet that's aim. I think that might be aim. Yeah. What's aim? I don't know why I'm doing that. The, the light thing? Yeah, like, I assume that I'm, like, conflating that it, like, in Destiny. Yeah, what is in Destiny? Yeah, it's, I don't think. It's melee, so. I'm just a fucking prick who doesn't. Is know. there, like, a combo attack or something? No. It's for finishers, but, but like I'm not in a situation where I would think that I need to finish them. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I got this guy. That's fun. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Hey, man. You told me. You told me if a man's gonna burn you, you shoot his fire. I could be paraphrasing. Ouch. I mean, Jesus, man. You might. I'm the worst with this gun. I don't think he's down. Here he is. Yeah, he's not down. Shh. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, nice. He won't walk again. <laughs> Hope be good news. Hope be great news. What? Oh, nice. Your favorite. Keep in mind that they have helmets, so. Okay. Third one's a charm. <laughs> Fucking outlined that, dude. I appreciate that that's all of them. Yeah, that is, that is one of the nice things about this uh, Naughty Dog games in general that they started is they like... A good all clear. Yeah, they, just so you're not wasting your time. Like, is yeah. somebody still around, you know? And you know what came to that really fucking well? Destiny 2? No. Um, Come on. Back to the horses. I don't want to go back to the horses. I want to go back to the bullets. Oh, God. I was expecting Yeah, there's, there's really nothing much Horrible here. to happen. Oh, yeah. Um. No, Half Life Two. Oh yeah. So I you kill those motherfuckers and they do that like squawk on their radio. It just yeah. you know when you've like killed some obscure dude because you're usually doing some weird physics thing. You know. Yeah. It's like oh, did that rope bridge like slap him into a ravine successfully? And then you just hear like a. <laughs> it's like yeah, I got him. We'll need flashlights. I feel like this music's a little incongruous with this moment. Like this feels like it should be more of a chase at least. More, uh, a like, little tenser? Oh, it's I more like meandering, saying. you know? Yeah. Cannibals yet? Uh, yeah, I mean they—they, they, you walk into that room with the hunters where there's all those corpses. So I think that's alluding that they eat people. Oh yeah. In Pittsburgh, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. crash the car. Be careful. Ellie. Nice. There's nothing in here. She's upstairs. Okay. Ellie. Thank you. You know me. Yeah. 
I would have absolutely swept the entire downstairs. I'm like, for the past like couple of minutes, as you're going through the uh, uh, that strife, that's yeah. funny. As you're going through this, I keep hearing this sound. I was like, what is that like weird sound on the right side of this? It's like, is that like a weird bird or whatever? And then we're in the house. It's baby snoring. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> she's carved out? Yeah, she's out. <laughs> <clears throat> Genuinely worried about self harm. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. This something was cut uh, from this part of the game. And if I say no. Realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, fuck. Than... Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people, too. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. Don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Two walking in. There's more inside already. I'll switch back here. Head down there. Where is that guy? <laughs> you are dangerously low on ammo. Maybe you can choke this dude out. Yeah, got him. I got him. I got him. Yo, this guy's got gum, I think. Oh, there you go. No, it's bullet gum. How are you? Do you need a drink, or how are you doing? Oh, I would love another beer. Are you out of that one? Yeah. Okay. Volpe, you're a wonderful host. You're quite welcome. Now get the fuck that out of here. That is a <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. You are very good at hosting. Just generally, though, I was thinking, like, you know, your old place, like, the parties and stuff, like... Yeah, I think uh, Jeremy and I have learned over the years how to throw, like, a good party, yeah. you know? And, like, uh, I feel like you guys could just be like, hey, you want to have a party tonight? Like, yeah, and it works. Uh, I mean, for the past, you know, when Jeremy and I were living together for whatever, 12 years or whatever the fuck it was, and then at other times, like, we were always just the house that people yeah. would congregate to, you know? Fuck! And, oh! I was so close. <laughs> and you haven't been to Jeremy's in a long time. He is like, that place is a place now. Is what? Is a place for like events and parties. His basement, he's redone. It's got a projection, a projector that goes on the wall. One side of the basement is this like giant underwater sea painting with like a giant squid. Uh, and there's 
There's just there's like four couches. There's just like couches as far as the eye can see. I can't believe I survived this while listening to you. <laughs> Although I would describe listening to you as generous. I'm not sure any of that. Yeah. I, I didn't expect uh, much of that to penetrate. Yeah. <laughs> I was just legit playing like chicken, like hiding behind the kitchen island. Yeah, I wish I would have bought some beer. That's okay. Like I said, I'm driving, so. I like that they have a different patrol. Now there's two up here. Did you die? Oh yeah. Okay. I was just on like my heels that whole time. Oh shit, I can't grab them when we're on the stairs. Fuck. That's bad. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Oh, Volpe, you missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, well, you have some Jim Beam if we wanted to. Ooh. A little bit. You know what? God, you're going to love what you missed. It was fucking funny. I'll have to watch it on Yeah, it, it doesn't know how to handle stairs, right? So when, like, enemies are on stairs, like, uh, nothing can happen, really, in terms of, like, melee. Okay. So I couldn't like grab the dude. Then we, he was on the landing. I tried to grab him there. Almost did, but he started going down the stairs again. And then my grab turned into melee, and I hit him with the pipe. But he was walking down the stairs, and he just kept going. Yeah. So it's like no harm, no foul shit somehow. Huh. How do I do listen? Uh, I don't know, R3 maybe? R oh, <laughs> and then... Yeah, that's... that's is, it, is it L3? Hey, hey, Trevor, you all right? Okay, he's fine. Man, you remember when Metal Gear Solid came out? And the way that the enemies would, like, interact with each other and, like, check on each other and stuff like uh, that? Yeah. And how just how revolutionary that was? Yeah. You can probably go to those two guys you killed and get some shit. Oh. Throw a coffee pot at him. Did you ever play Bioshock Infinite? Oh, yeah. You don't remember? No. You like kept. What was it you were saying? Dude, I don't remember much of my life. It's, <laughs> it's really kind of sad. It's okay. This was not an important part of it. No, but there's like lots of things I just do not remember. Eh. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, but like, I honestly think like. I've also started. Um, I'm pre contemplating. I'm in the pre contemplation stage, which is I've started thinking about. I've, tried, I've always tried journaling. Yeah. And I'm just like. I can never do it consistently, you know? It's just not something that... Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. But I've been thinking about, you know what? What if I journaled, and instead of, like, trying to say something and... Oh, my oh, lord. Hey, you saw anything yet? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's another thing they do, too. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Well, I fucked them up stealth-wise. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, but that's another thing they do when it's the last kill is they just do a quick did you notice the animation oh. on that guy when you grabbed him to choke him he just like kicked him in the head and yeah killed him I assumed that was because he had a helmet uh, no, they do that a lot where if it's the last guy they there's do, a like, flourish on it yeah there's like a quick animation or whatever yeah, yeah flourish oh man I'm so glad that I survived that <laughs> yeah dude the, <laughs> the shit on stairs was fucking wild and only slightly less wild was the fact that I didn't die from it like I was pretty lucky there 
That's awesome. It wasn't for oh, look, any look at sort all of stuff you got. Skill. It was just how it shook out. Make some Bernie bottles. <clears throat> I thought that was like a fucking Bernie Sanders reference, and I was like, oh, I know when I when I said that, I was throw like, a lot of Molotov cocktails. I know he was like active in the civil rights protests, but that didn't yeah. seem like a. I don't think Molotovs are Bernie's thing. Yeah, but I bet that dude could fuck a. He could fuck a dude up if he needed to. <clears throat> and then just quietly sit with those mittens. Yeah. I think people are capable of doing some crazy ass things if you put them in the right situation for it. Oh, for sure. I bet. I don't know. I really believe with like the right medication and like therapy slash conditioning, you can get anyone to do anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot. If it's like no holds barred. Yeah. Then... And, and keep in mind, I'm talking about like. I'm not talking about like doctor ethics here. I'm saying like no, I get if it. you were someone that just wanted to, and you <clears> like, like a fucking Manchurian candidate shit. Yeah, you may not be able to like completely like <laughs> what yeah, fucking old and stupid this TV is. Yeah. God, look at you, ancient piece of shit. Do you think they have enough border on this television? Yeah. Get back to the horses. Don't mind me, I'm just checking out this toilet. Oh, good thing you did, huh? Ah, drugs. Yeah, take those 20-year-old prescription meds. <laughs> it's probably like their fucking cereal. We're clear. Are we? He checked a very limited area. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's fair. I do like the way that that conversation ended. Just a real kind of thing where an argument ended where you didn't want it to, and then yeah. you're just sitting in it. Yeah. That scene is widely known in the Last of Us universe as just being like this. Because it's like the first time that she just like drops all pretenses, and she's like, I need you, I'm scared. Yeah. And, and like, I, I get it. Like, she... She's not like, why are you like this? Yeah. Which is refreshing. Yeah. And, he just, I, and you see his He just regret. like shuts her down, you know? Well, like right yeah. now, he's like, and you can see he's mournful about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. mournful, but... Conflicted. Yeah. This shit fucking for sure, like, shows. And doesn't tell. Kid, you watch movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? This game, man. This game. It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. <gasps> so big on. I got buddies in Colorado. Hell, get off the horse. Keep it on back to town. I'm gonna hang on to this fellow. That's all right with me. Oh, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. Me, my mind's all made up. What a dinner. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You can't miss it. Take care of that white hood. Place for him, Good. Okay. That's real good. That's a good fucking scene. Mm -hmm. God damn. Dude, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> like, I like. No, no, no. That song the... was playing today at oh, work. Like, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and I was just like laughing at how. How the universe, it rhymes. First step, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Hey, you just gotta 
play it a couple times. It all makes sense. Football sucks. It like football and my ADHD do not fucking. You don't have to. It's just like you know you can. Anyway. My fault. You forgot to ask Tommy his name. Buildings look like a million. Well, we're headed to Central Grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. Get him. Jump, horse. I see a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. Flintthrower. Have I told you how I feel like in games, never is there a satisfying flamethrower weapon? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just too like ephemeral. Yeah. And it's like I I'm not like disappointed even necessarily. It's just like eh, this one doesn't do it either. Like, I remember the last time I thought about that. Like, I thought about. A flamethrower, like what it would be like to actually have to be a flamethrower operator, and it would you be terrible, yeah. And, but also, like, I, I think those people are fucking sociopaths, or are broken, like almost instantly. Yeah, I think most of them. Because it's one thing if, like, in war, I'm picturing like World War Two, right? Like just clearing out like bunkers and shit or whatever. Yeah, I don't think most of those people had a choice. I don't think it was a volunteer thing. I think they just somewhat you walked in and yeah. your thing is <laughs> that's true. There's probably I could be wrong, but my guess is they're probably like strength requirements because that shit's heavy. Yeah, and they're just like, yeah, you're the flamethrower. Some mechanical dude. aptitude, you know. You're like, I don't want to be the flamethrower dude, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Uh, Hitler wasn't asking. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but no. Um, also, like just like the heat of it, and it's not like you know, oh my god, I shot that guy from like you know. 200 yeah. yards away or even like point blank this is like I am actively participating in burning this and person to death yeah. and they're making noises that I have never heard and will never be able to unhear I like how that pipe's going through your arm. Oh, yeah, that ain't good. how much it costs I thought it was giving me tools where are my tools your tools are up in the your parts up, oh upper right cool yeah that's the cost the parts of the cost the tools are the skill required yeah got it all right Dude, I've just about reached my threshold for winter. Like this year. Oh, yeah. Like in previous years, I've been like, ah, it's cold, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. this is the year where I was approaching being like, fuck this. I'm done. I'm out, kind of. Yeah. I'm not well, there yet. It wasn't even that bad. I know. But if like, if today had not been like 60 degrees, I may have lost, I, w I might have lost my shit. Dude, it was, I had to scrape my windshield this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was like fucking. Like uh, 29 in the morning. I think there's another one over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
uh, yeah, it's 29 degrees this morning. Yeah. I was fucking baffled as to how to dress because it's like active this is in a just warehouse. Like a parts I'm like, area. Up here. Sorry, it's the what? Just like a parts area. I don't think yeah. there's no like story progression or anything. Let's go back. Quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe no begging. Oh, cool. I don't think there's any enemies in this place. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. I'm more also just like at least a, at least not yet. I'm making taking stock of it and like what I've yeah got because I was kind of just like observing my loadout last time or my inventory mm-hmm. rather than. And when deciding. we get to when we get to part two, I won't like tell you these things because I think that uh, I think that's going to be a true playthrough experience. Yeah, like I mean, there might be a few things because most of the game is like pretty straightforward. I, I think well designed. So like you never you don't get like lost a lot yeah. and stuff, um, but there's probably a couple times where. No, I get it. I, and also like having played through one of them, like it's gonna inform how they've designed the second. Mm-hmm. So like I think I'll be fine. Totally. Or do it a lot better anyway. I mean these games are great, but they're also like not Mensa tests or anything, you know. <laughs> Naughty Dog games and I have never clicked, like especially gameplay. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, get the power back on. it's it's a company who's just like uncharted in this. Like I've just, yeah. I felt like I've always just been like, ah, I'm not very good at the, how they want me to do stuff. Um, there is a contingent of people, and I can see their point, uh, that think like Naughty Dog's gameplay formula is like out of date yeah I mean this is I mean this is also 10 years old yeah you know I was gonna say though this is pretty much from what I recall like what they had with Uncharted yeah it's just less yeah parkour I I totally see what a lot of people are saying about it but by the same token I think about um a lot of the other games that come out right and I'm like, are any of them doing much better? You know, maybe there's some that are doing some like, you know, like I think uh, Metal Gear Solid Five did some crazy ass stuff with its gameplay, right? Yeah. But uh, most games, I mean, no games are Metal Gear Solid Five, right? Mm-hmm. Like very few games approach that level of gameplay. And to be honest, most of them are like fucking Nintendo games. Nintendo is the one who are like they're like the gameplay champs yeah, when it comes to just pure gameplay yeah. You know? oh yeah like yeah playing through Mario 64 with my brother uh, all day uh, like a month ago mm-hmm. was so much fun that game was great for that reason and it was a lot of him and I trying to like figure it out yeah and my brother Sam is an excellent video game <clears throat> player watch out behind you Thank you. So those guys are all asleep. That one's not. I see. Well, there's another one in there. They can see, right? Yep. Yep. I 
Try to get a gun. What about two guns? You know what? Let's see what all the fuss is about. You know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wasn't any bad. How it felt. Uh, the yeah. burning to death was horrifying. Wait till see part two. It's amazing. But like that one felt like yeah, it wasn't wispy. I wasn't like painting around as much. Mm -hmm. It felt like it turn, simulated. Turn the, turn the generator on. It simulated the heat by like really kicking up the rumble, and the lighting was good. It also it like almost felt like I was taking damage. It was like that same kind of rumble frequency, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which is interesting. Like I think that's a good way of doing that to make it feel dangerous. Rumble design? That would be fucking wild to like just try to work so, out. So, remind me sometime, maybe when we finish this, I'll have you play Astro's Playroom, which is this game that it, it's it's pretty much like a tech demo for the PlayStation Five. Oh, okay. But it's this like cute kind of love letter to playstation oh. uh and it's just like it's very mario 64 where you have like the, these different areas that you can go to and like like it's not like a level based game right you just go to different areas and do these different activities and stuff but it does some really cool stuff um what's it called astro's playroom okay um but it does like really cool stuff with like the haptics and the controller like when it rains, you can like feel raindrops on the controller and stuff. That's cool. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? That's not cool. I'm just saying. You gotta open the door. Thank you. What about you? What do you want to do? When I was a kid, I used to want to be a uh, singer. <laughs> Shut up. I'm serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Oh, boss coach. Can I sing to her? No. I mean, talk about Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. And it's the same fucking guy. That's why I'm saying yeah. that. Come on, baby, I know what I'm saying. Okay. You know, I, your, you know, I you, love you know your Troy Bakers. He, your TBs. Yeah. No, I love him. I think he's fucking great. Um, he's another guy I'd love to get out to GX. I talked to him. Actually, talked to him once at uh, PAX. No, uh, Indie PopCon, I believe. And I kind of chatted with him. Do he and DB know each other? No, I don't think so. Um. But I was talking to him, and you know, he was real cool. I mean, he was, you know, out and about, like there's a lot yeah. going on, right? But he was real cool. Uh, you got to jump over that if you're. He horse. seems like a really interesting, um, like legit. But as guy. soon as I started kind of talking about GDEX and stuff, he kind of went into like business mode, yeah. and his agent was there. So he's like, "Oh, you should talk to I forget the agent's name, Tony or whatever." Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Walking over here, checking this out. Uh -huh. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Um, bless you, babe. Oh my god, I thought that was a trap getting triggered. <laughs> like, like in the game, I like kind of stopped for a second. No, that's just a baby girl. Okay. But so, anyway, so I talked to the manager and like, but the thing is, as soon as you start talking to a manager, like, then it's about now we're doing money negotiations. Right. It it's not like, just like a it becomes real shit. formal. Yeah. You know, and he and Troy ended up like after he introduced me, he went off and was talking to somebody else. Yeah. So. So I mean, it's not. It's he's not gonna remember me from anything, right? Yeah. But like, when I met Damon Hatfield, yeah. uh, it was at a IGN party, and I just went up to him and I was just like, you know, hey man, like I'm a really big fan of your shows. I, you know, I like Game Scoop and. Um, This has got to be leftover uncharted resources. 
Yeah, welcome back. 28 days later, right? You've seen that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fuck, I love Did you ever it. see 28 Weeks Later? Yeah, it's all right. I thought it was pretty good. You know, for, like, to kind of conceptually... Yeah, it, there was aspects that I thought were interesting, but I yeah. was like, eh. yeah. It, <laughs> but I mean, coming off of sort of like the non-zombie conceptual movie. framework of the first one, yeah. it's hard to like. Oh fuck no! You know that's like the last fucking job you would want. Who made that? Because they did a very admirable job. Uh, yeah, I forget his name. So I think one of the writers. If I'm not mistaken, I think one of the writers for um, 28 Days Later was also a writer for Rogue One. Garrett Hedlund? Or Garrett... Something. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, there's... <sighs> Did Al Alex Garland didn't do that? It. No, no, no. Yeah, there's this, like, yeah. that... There's a whole kind of wave of dudes who I, like, I'm not good at keeping track of. They're, like, the kind of young Turks who, like handle a lot of franchise work like that. Man, that was such a good movie. It's fucking amazing. Danny uh, Boyle. Is. Danny Boyle. Al yeah, writer Alex Garland. Yeah. Okay. So, did he do... I think he also dealt with Daredevil the first season. Uh, as a writer? I think he was a showrunner. Let me see. Oh, he's done a lot of weird stuff for Devil May Cry. What year are you in? Or are you just doing no 2013, 2013, 2013. No Daredevil? Daredevil would be like no 15. Daredevil. But think he did, uh, he did Ex Machina. Have you seen Devs? No, not yet. You? Jesus Christ. Is it good? It's a, fu it's fucking brilliant. Okay. Let's try that game. Oh yeah, my buddy Todd and I are going to go see that. Uh, everything, everywhere, or all at once. Yeah. Or oh yeah, that movie is. I was like, "Well, people just tell me about this." It's and he's like, fucking so amazing. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh shit, yeah, I'll see that with you." Mirror. Looks like a mirror. I don't understand what that is. That hey, Ellie, go over there. Looks like they rigged this up as well. This gate. I don't understand. I just don't get what the prompts are. Oh, there you go. Turn around. Oh. Back thing. up. Or her? I mean, it's connected to that thing, so. Oh, you just try going in there, yeah. I see. Okay. Oh, it's great. Like, them just showing compassion for each other like that. Mm hmm. There's some things behind that you missed. Huh? The gears on the floor. Right there. Yeah. Look at this fucking guy with my six he's got. Everything everywhere all at once. What am I hearing? Is it a fan? It's a heater. I mean, oh, okay. It just was through the filter of the oh, hearing of the see. mic. I was it sounded like rain outside. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> Two oh one. Alright, that's somebody's slop corner. I feel like this is the area where Joel gets bit doesn't tell her you know what's kind of nuts yeah uh or no what <laughs> there there's like I can't remember his name but there's like a community and the, one of the guys I think it's like Anthony something um I found through like my last of us two stuff 
and like he's a streamer and all he does I shouldn't say all he does but like his main thing is he does speed runs of Last of Us <laughs> and now with Last of Us 2 coming out he's done speed runs of Last of Us 2 and he's one of those people who's always trying to figure out how he can move faster through it or he'll do challenges where like he'll do a permadeath on the hardest difficulty and if you die you have to start all over completely mm-hmm. over you know um but I was just like, how crazy is that? Like, this doesn't seem like a game that would be like a speed running kind of game. So there's another fun thing. I don't know if you'll see it in here. I'll show it to you if I catch one. Okay. But uh, in the lore of the world, the... um, The movies? What movies? Or the movie posters, the vampire things? Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, But no, in the lore of the world, the infection takes place in... uh, When the game came out, like, whatever it was, August 2013 or whatever. Yeah. So the PS4... The platform that a lot of people played it on didn't exist oh. in the world. So a lot of times, if you'll ever see like rooms, uh, sometimes you'll see a room with like a TV, and there'll be a PS3 there. That's funny. Them's a lot of co-eds. God damn it, I thought that was a window to hop through. I can't imagine on that. These are all listeners, right? Uh, and that's a clicker right there, I think. That's a clicker back there. Clickers are the ones who listen? Yep. But he's asleep currently, so that one's not. Let's see. Oh, that's a clicker too. Oh, and that's a bloater. A what? A bloater. One of those, like, giant things? Yeah. Oh, my God. So I think you can skip around these if you go to the left there. But I would be very careful. I think you can go to the right. And skip kind of past him. You got arrows. Oof. Oof. <laughs> God, that is awesome and really gross. Reminds me of laundry day, right? Yeah, I was gonna, I'm not going to say what I was thinking. 
This is for the That's not for public consumption. Boom boom. Yeah, you should be able to get around him. Great fucking audio on him though. Now the question is, can you get through that door without him noticing? Of course I can, I'm a genius. Great at doors. Push, push, push! Thanks, Martin. How long do like clickers live? Uh, yeah, I. Because I was just thinking, like, their muscles would fucking atrophy. They wouldn't be that strong after a while, right? Well. The, th the thing is, I think that the, the game lore is doing is that, like, they're not zombies. Right. They're living entities that are infected by fungus, right? Uh, yeah. So as long as they're consuming and eating, that's not any different than any other. What do they eat? People. people. And I assume the fungus part of them probably can eat some other shit. Yeah. Like, it's just I, something I, I that seems like... Yeah, I think you're done with enemies for the moment. Okay. Yeah, it seems like they would like die eventually. More infected, I'm fine. Do you like bourbon? Oh yeah. Okay. You wanna try Yeah. You want me to try something? Let me try something. Oh. Is that okay? Yeah. Drink recipe? I mean it's just gonna be a simple thing, because I don't really have a Hey, no, I'm just excited because I I just, I just, I kind of on a whim, <clears throat> well, I mean, you saw it, so on a whim, I kind of bought the cream sodas. Oh. And I was like, I was like, ah, you know, I, I got Instacart, and like, I was like, yeah, yeah, looking yeah. for a caffeine-free cherry yeah. Coke, and I saw a cream soda, I was like, you know, I haven't had an IBC cream soda, and I used to get those all the time. Okay. So like, you want to try bourbon and cream soda and see what it's like? Yeah. Is that a thing? I don't know. That's why we're gonna find out. Alright, what are we gonna name that combination? I know there's clearly yeah, I'm sure in our yeah, 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 yeah. But like we we're ignorant of that, so like what are we gonna call it for right now? I don't know if you've ever seen this. What about a Dixie? Have you ever, have you ever seen these? These are my Bioshock shot glasses. Bioshock glasses. That's and like good. it's it's hard to see in the dark, but each one's like a different plasmid, like the B one and the fire one and this the is, oh, it's great. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I've never seen those. Those are awesome. I've actually never used these, to be honest. Oh, fuck yeah. They're really neat, though. Yeah. You can keep doing your thing. Oh, okay. Don't stop me. Or don't let me stop you. I'm literally going to go check out this dumpster. <laughs> See, the, the beauty of this game is that, like, either I'm going to do what I'm doing, and then I'll get around to it and I'll see where you're at or I'm going to be in here and you're going to be like oh holy fuck and yeah I, I like something good I hit a guy there. in the head with a pipe yeah or like a story thing yeah Joel's pregnant what's that Joel's pregnant Joel's been pregnant the whole time oh my god it's like, Ellie, give me your hand. The it's thing, kicking. The one thing I can't promise you is that this hasn't been a dream the whole time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fuck. You know, I think we've talked, we've had to have talked about this, but you know I hate in media res stuff? Oh, I didn't know that. It hates kind of a strong word. Are you just, does it stand out to you and you're like, okay, I'm fucking okay on this right now? I just, I think a lot of times, hold on a second. Hey, Pumps. Hey, yeah, sweetie. I feel like a lot of 
lot of times, sometimes uh, in media res shit, it's just lazy. Uh, you know? Cheers. Cheers. Yo. And I managed to one hand prime that Jenny. That's pretty good, actually. I thought of a name. The Dixie Twist. The Dixie Twist. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. I like it. That's that is good. And we can just call. Yeah, I, f I feel like I can. I feel like I can work from that from a base and turn it into something like. No. Yeah. You what know? would you like, do? No. I don't know. I feel like it needs a little bit more sweetness, and then like. <sighs> I'm curious if like a citrus would Ooh, add to it, or it might cut against it. What if you did like a cinnamon or something? Ooh. Like a little cinnamon. Yeah, like, yeah, a little like, that? like a little spice that kind of hits you from the corner. All right, yeah, no, that's. I don't think cinnamon's quite the thing. Yeah, I feel like. All right, I have a thing, weird. But I, but I get about, what you're saying. What about paprika? Is that stupid? Ooh, that's that's stupid. I don't know. I don't think I mean paprika. I think I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, we'll come back to this. Have I? T I have a. I'm tr I've been trying to figure out a na or a recipe for a gin martini that is entirely based on the pumpkin. No, thank you. Um, just the name first, because I don't even like gin martinis. Yeah. But uh, vermouth, this is a top level fucking thing, so brace yourself. A vermouth bader Ginsburg. Ginsburg. And it's like with a bay leaf, so yeah. it's like. That's awesome. <laughs> I feel like a full tilt tan, uh, channeled Tom Allen by there. Mm -hmm. Where he's like quiet. For <laughs> Sometimes you have to. For like 10 minutes, and then he just walks up to me and he goes. What did the sadomasochistic Jamaican or Rastafarian uh, artist say? And I'm like, what? I don't know. And, right, the like Rastafarian. I just remember this. And it was so it was sadomasochistic. Um, it was just mas It was a masochistic Rastafarian artist. What did he say? What did he say? God. It's a painting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's a painting. Painting. <laughs> and I'm like... That's awful. I remember... Yeah, I know. It was horrible. This was at the deck. I keep playing. We, we can't... Sorry, yeah. You gotta, you gotta play and move or we're never gonna get through yeah, this game. The greatest irony is just me retelling yeah. shit that Tom's. Well, I mean the the thing is the it's the friends we made along the way, right? Yeah, the laughs we had. Like to see someone by now. <laughs> but everyone else is watching us to be like, Jesus Christ, yeah. get to the fucking point. No, 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 no. I'm glad that you <laughs> you're doing a wonderful job of like conducting. Yeah, it's up there to the right somewhere. I can't remember. Oh yeah, the mirror. Yeah, mirror. Oh, there I guess. <laughs> um. I like getting to a point in the game where I can learn the visual language of it. Like, yeah. I see that barrier, and I know that means probably now the horse needs to go over here. Yeah. Because they're using the same asset, which yep. is completely helpful. Uh, let's see. Hey, what about over there? Yeah, that looks like a way in. Uh, okay. We're going to push this car through. The oh. Push this. Mm -hmm. Um. I never met a dumpster I didn't I push. <laughs> this is very odd. You will put. You will push far fewer dumpsters in Last of Us Part Two. Yeah. I picture him like nod to it. Like I don't want to. Why would I push a dumpster? Oh, and onto the dumpster? Yeah, just something like... It's like, wait, I got an idea. Do you, want me, to, just, do you want me to tell you something? No. Okay. It's not really a spoiler. Yeah, no, I just, like, I want to be surprised, though. Okay. Um. <laughs> Solar panels, right on. Right on, right on, right on. Right, we're 
inside. Uh -oh. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. <clears throat> what are you? Uh, okay. I just could have camera angle and everything. Every time there's like, I, a weird... I was like, he's gonna get bit right now. This oh, okay, okay, I see. I feel like that's kind of that would be a way for him to get bit. Mm -hmm. Like they they do a lot. They do a lot of like sleight of hand kind of stuff where like camera eye takes you this way and then all of a sudden something comes out of it yeah. the way. Cinematography is really fucking good. Is that the word I want? Is does that apply to Yeah, cinematography, totally. It's just like throwing me off because of the nature of Did the Did you war. play a God of War yet? No, I haven't. So the new God of War yeah. is all shot in a single take. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that's right that, on, right on. Yeah, that's the thing. That that's the thing they try to get across. Obviously, it's a game, so you know you're. Yeah, you're playing. That makes sense because I watched, I watched some wild fucking, like, YouTube thing where it's like I'm like, oh, Jeremy Davies is in it, mm. as like Balder or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, dude, he's fucking amazing. No, Jeremy Davies is fucking wonderful. I was just like. Keep paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> I am the prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No, he he his introduction is again. That's what I watched. It was like the outside the cabin. Oh, you saw it. Yeah, oh, it was just like him being Jeremy Davies, and I'm like, what? that's such a shame you didn't get to play it because. Well, it, that, yeah. No, I mean for sure. Because it's it's such a surprise, and it's considered again, it's one of those things that's considered just like an amazing moment in gaming. Oh. Because it's so unexpected, it kind of comes out of nowhere. I assumed it was a known thing. Oh, that's cool. And, and like, because I know they don't know. Because the way, yeah, the way yeah. he introduces himself, he's talking to Kratos, and Kratos is like, "I don't know what you're talking about. Like, leave me alone." Or yeah, whatever. and he like kind of pushes over. So, he's like, "Well, no, the yeah. thing about this is that." But but the, the great yeah, thing about that I'm scene, have to do this. yeah, they're they're like, each talking at each other. Yeah, but they they think they're understanding each other, but they're both talking about different things. Oh, interesting. So like in the con, it like from each character's perspective, it makes sense. Yeah, what they're saying. But from the other character's perspective, like when when Boulder shows up and he's talking to Kratos, he thinks Kratos is somebody else. Oh. And Kratos doesn't know who the fuck this guy is. Right. He just knows there's some dude on my front step. Yeah. And Kratos doesn't know that this other guy's a god. Yeah. So he thinks he's just some dude. Right. And he's yeah. like, just and go. And this is a perfect. Yeah. And so and so Kratos perfect, is just perfect. like, go away. Yeah. You know, this is my house. Leave me alone. And he's and Kratos knows that like if the shit hits the fan, Kratos can fucking bury this dude, right? Right. Yeah. But it turns out he's a god, and he fucking like uppercuts him yeah. over the house. And it's just like, I guess we're doing this now, yeah. you know? It's all. It's such a great. That whole game is great. There's a couple, I think. Is that the first one? That's the first remake one. Yeah. Have they? Is there a second remake mm -hmm. one? Okay. It's supposed to come out. Actually, it's supposed to come out like this month or something. But see, I thought it, got, it was. It got it like on Steam. Like it just dropped the first one. Like Steam and yeah, Sony are starting to play nice. It looks yeah, like. Sony's starting to test the waters on. Um, uh, they fucking should. Like if they were Sony's just like their big thing is if you want to play PlayStation games, you buy a PlayStation, and right. by putting it on Windows, it. You know, it kind of. No, no, no. What it values the. PlayStation environment. That's, yeah. that's their thought. Whether well, you agree right. with it or Sony not. Online has always like, well, I shouldn't say always like, my experiences with it, which are honestly just like PS3, but like, how much they force that to you. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is fucking terrible. There's, I don't think there's anything out here. Down until we figure out what's going. Thank you. I think you got to go the way behind you, the way you were going. Oh. oh. What? I, or maybe, I thought she was leading. Yeah, follow her. Yeah, maybe she's... Did you go up? You want to go up again? It's files? Yeah, that's near, but a bunch of medical mumbo-jumbo. I don't get it. <laughs> What's a medicine? Nothing to hurt. Maybe not all. What's your ammo count look like? 
Why? You're fine. Just, I, I, you're good for the moment. You don't need to scrounge. Oh, oh. I'll keep a rough idea on your ammos. Got it. It's more that I, I think it's honestly, it's mostly arrows. And I'm like so happy I have some right now. So. Mm -hmm. Actually, I need to pee. All right. Go ahead. If you press I'll that, be right back. we'll pause and we'll be right back. Yeah. Here, I'll put this stream back on. Uh, so they can hear, they can at least hear us. Right. So I I don't consider myself like a chef or like a prolific <clears throat> cook in any way. Yeah. But I can make three fucking things that are like top notch world class. Pumpkin seeds. One oh four things. Ooh. Pumpkin seeds. I make real good pumpkin seeds. Uh, no, I remember in the article about you and like the other papers. Yeah. Like... I I so uh, pumpkin seeds I make really good. And unfortunately, you can only do them like once a year, like for real. Right. You know? um, a ribeye steak. Yeah. I make like, I think I make the best. There's one place, Pine Club in Ohio, that makes like amazing steaks. Worst and there, 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 it's in Dayton. No. Yeah. Okay. And so it's like probably the best. But I have not had a steak in a restaurant in Columbus that is better than what I can make. That's cool. And I like, I, and I mean by like a significant margin. Uh, well, is you it know? like a specific way that you like it, or is yeah, other I mean, people I'm sure it has to, to do with part with how I like it. Yeah, yeah. But also, like, I I have a process. It's not just like throwing a steak on a grill. Like, it's a multi stage process, you know. And it takes just the prep time alone is about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um. So, pumpkin seeds, um, what I say, pumpkin Popcorn. seeds, ribs, my salad. My salads are world class. What? Yeah. I make a fucking amazing salad. And I, I, I put it together myself. Like, the dressing, I put it together myself. All right. Like, it's a big vinaigrette base. Okay. But, and then... We're talking, like, a really nice, healthy salad, like, cruciferous as fuck. Well, I mean, so, the the things you want in it are up to you right okay so like i generally have i'll have like a red leaf lettuce salad throw in some croutons some spinach and that's kind of like the salad base right okay but i like i don't like tomatoes in my salad i don't yeah. need like a bunch of like the weird leafy shit that gets into salads but if you like it that's cool okay. the, the beauty of my dressing is it can go with anything okay um so obviously like i build mine out the way i want it yeah 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 uh but yeah, that's my thing. And popcorn, movie theater popcorn. I make a world class movie theater popcorn. I'll fucking try it once, but like, I feel like I'll like just have like a bite, and I'll be like, I'm good. So one of my friends, um, he uh, he says the same. He's like, he'll come to me occasionally to movies, and he just gets a salad and doesn't like put any butter or salt on it. A salad? I, or, or sorry, a popcorn. Okay, I was like, Fuck. sorry, no, no popcorn, popcorn. Okay, okay, okay. So. I'm always like, do you want to try mine? He's like, no. And I was like, dude, the way my popcorn always works is that people see me make it, and there's a process to making it, yeah. right? It's not just putting butter and salt on. There's a process. Okay. Then they make fun <laughs> of me for that. <laughs> At some point, somebody mentions heart attack, right? Yeah. That's, that's just a thing. Right. And then I was like, do you want to try it? And they're like, no. I was like, do you want to try it? And like, no. And we'll like go into the movie theater. And then like a little bit in, I was yeah, like, come on, just, you want to try yeah, it? And they're yeah, like, yeah. all right, they'll try it. They take a piece and their face instantly is like, oh, oh, no. And then I see it. I see it fade into their brain. Like, like they've discovered a secret to the universe. <laughs> and I was like, do you want another one? And they're like, no. But I know in like 20 to 30 seconds, they're going to be like, okay. And I'm like, then I, I got him. I got him. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I know they're addicted to the heroin I have. Yep. Did I just... Yeah, okay. I opened a loop. You done been back. All right, cool. Yeah, I think it's in there. I think that's where you want to go. About, yeah. about to like turn a corner into a... I don't know. You're spinning a lot, though. I know that. Yeah. That's 
Steve Bloom. Spike Spiegel. What's that? The voice actor. Is that who that is? I think it's Steve Bloom. We don't have to watch this the second time, I don't think. Uh, there are no sit and listen to recordings. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I, I was uh, just trying to ID the voice actor. I'm glad that you pulled me away from that. I think it's, yeah, I think it's to your left is what you're looking for, I think. Yeah. It might be in the middle section. I would do Shift Master. Fuck yes. Oh wait, no, never mind. Don't do Shift Master. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> it's all good. You ruined my life. I forgot Shift Master is the one you don't want to do. God damn it! It's okay. The hundred. You'll be I fine. used a hundred drugs on Shift. No, a hundred is the next level. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For the love of God, you're right there. Let's get moving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think it's in the middle section. Yeah. I, th I think. <laughs> no, I ship master the one that you never wanted. <laughs> Dude, <coughs> the way I catalog things. Yeah. No, th I think this happened last time. Yeah. There was like a yeah, I always, absolute I, like. Opposite. I always work from the negative. Yeah, you're like, all right, so as long as I'm not it's, doing it's weird. this. Like, like it's good. really efficient, but also like I'm kind of like, is this a trust thing where I just can never trust anything? Yeah. So yeah, I just yeah. have to always like look at it from the, what what would happen if I was trying to fuck someone over kind of thing? You know? Yeah. It's like all right. So this is so crap. shiv master. That's that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! There's nothing in here. I'm just, I'm just walking. I, know. I don't know what the thing I'm looking for is, so I just huh. thought it was like gonna open a thing, and it's like, oh, it's like I say, there's nothing in here, and there's like all sorts of shit in here. Yeah, there's also that. And we were just talking about how you like remember things. Like, yeah, don't, in... don't listen to me. Well, no, I mean, oh, I guess it's in there. Okay, in the tunnel. Yeah. In the big, obvious little space. Maybe that's where we should Blanket go. for it. This makes me think of my book of Solid 5. The part where you have to go into the quarantine. Remember that? The what? In uh, Phantom Pain, you have to go into the quarantine section and, like, ice your own dudes. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. Sorry, guys. For... <laughs> Looking good. Joel, I think there's tacos here. Jesus. God damn monkeys. Well, maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monkeys. I will eat a monkey if I have to. <laughs> it's just a monkey. <laughs> There's four pallets of lab equipment all packed up and ready to go. Now, the big question is what do we do with all you guys? You see the teeny bastards have been put down. You know what I say? They should do that. They made a bigger sacrifice than you, right? Oh, God. Oh, it's patient zero.
down. Yo, can I get another Dixie twist? Sure. That's so fucking good. If you exit this one. All right, yes, yes. Hey, man, I learned mess with them monkeys. <coughs> was the ratio okay, you think? Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So is IBC become a fancy drink? Or is there something on drink? it that's like... No. It's like... Made with cane sugar? Like that. So I don't know if, they're, if they've become one, or they're pretending to be one, or they're doing like a fake it till you make it kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking for the fireflies, they've all left. Yeah, no shit. I don't know, man. Oh, he is not patient zero. Who's not patient zero? This guy. Joel is not patient zero. No, not Joel. This guy. Yeah, and they were at least double stacked uh, in military fatigues. Oh, the monkeys were. Wow. Yeah. Did they have? Are they like two monkeys, like one on top of each other? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, okay. they were double stacked. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that dude was weird. <laughs> Damn near killed him. Motherfucker. All right, I scratched the military thing. It seemed like they were in an like ATV, but as we know from that one thing. Oh, Whoa. God. That might be a good uh, bomb moment if you can get up there. <clears throat> get a little closer. Ow. Why is it not going where I want it to? Try that. Like, all of that's falling like significantly shorter. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. You did that pretty good. Yeah, I'm great at that. Well, I think you did light maybe a couple dudes on fire. It's just like, the arc was falling super short. I'm like, yeah. they're not charging perfectly. Where the fuck? You have listen mode. Thank you. You gotta go potties? Come here. Oh, what? Bullshit. God damn it. I fucking thought I had that guy. Hmm. I was gonna do that. <laughs> like, I forgot. There's a 
what a fucking guy that showed up. I do appreciate that they kind of show you that. It's like, you see like, I don't know, eight guys like shuffled through the hallway. Yeah. So it like gives you an idea of like the amount of people you're going to be encountering. I think you're good. Yeah, you got to go in there, I think. Huh? I think you got to go in there. Like, turn around. Like the balcony. Oh. I think. So when you say in there, you mean out into the balcony? Or maybe it's not. Maybe you gotta go downstairs. Yeah, you gotta go in here and then that way to the stairs. Oh! <laughs> God. Are you gonna switch weapons? Or? Mm. Oh, that's great. Son of a fucking... Alright, that's... Just go get him. Just go oh. hit him. Just hit him. Yeah, with that. Alright, I've lost all fucking... Mm -hmm. One fucking... Dixie twist too many? No! Just... Fuck. Hell yeah, I don't feel good about that. You're fine. Pumpkin down. Pumpkin. Down. Thank you. You surprised him. Wrong time to put your gun down, friend. Was there a guy on the right? Oh no, there's a tree. Never mind. I thought that was her. It could also be. I see a person. It's nature's man. Yeah. <laughs> Kidney gets infected by <laughs> what do you want me to do? What? I'm bad at that. Yeah. No, it's not very good. <sighs> that guy has jaundice just fuck eyes. He should eat some bananas. Dude. You don't need a white man. I was going for headshots. So I don't know why. for doctors. Oh, she's covered in my blood. That's great. Oh, he's fucked. Joel? Yeah. Just fall over. Come on, fall over it. That's what I would do. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, Gabe. Pumpkin. 
Pumpkin, down. I thought you were gonna get me point blank. We gotta get you out of here. I'm okay. You're not okay, Joel. Come on. What's kind of bugging me is I have like at least three health kids, which should be like bandages. Hurry. I guess it's in the. I think he's gonna call her baby girl right before he has her do it. Before what? He has her like kill him. Yeah. Come on. This seems like a Clementine training session. Actually, now that I think about it, it could just be Ellie. I'm playing as Ellie the rest of the fucking game because there's nothing about being infected that's going to prevent you from continuing to play because you just get fucking your throat ripped out. It's not like, oh, Joel got like, scratched. Game over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're safe. Ah! Do you go go potties? Do you go potties? Oh, pause it. No, come here. You need to go outside go potties? Give me one second. You gotta get out. Joel. And it's Paul. Was not expecting that. One second, baby girl. How bright were you? <laughs> it's happened a couple times. <laughs> Don't be 
call go potty. Jake says he doesn't have to go potty. I really don't. Bumpkin, lay off the mic cord. She should not Be good. She's like just She's like punishing herself. Or torturing herself rather. Okay. Hold it steady. Hello, dear. Oh, shit. I'm bad at this. Won't be I suck at this. You suck at what? Shooting deer from like 100 yards away. Yeah. Never mind, I'm good at it. Well, luckily, uh... I hit it once. Fuck! Don't worry, I turned my flashlight on. <laughs> you turned your flashlight on? I did, not intentionally. Oh, yeah, I was scared. Ellie of has inherited the family flashlight. I was scared there for a minute, you wouldn't be properly illuminated. Can't tell when I have it or not. You don't have it. You can move closer. You don't have to be in like the other zip code. <laughs> but I'm sending a letter. Hold it steady. There you go. You don't. Oh. Fuck. I feel like they made her a little bigger. A little what? Like bigger, physically, like she's grown. It's only a few months, but I mean, she's 14 to 15. That's definitely yeah. like. You know, I don't know if they altered her model. That anything. would track with the thing I was kind of. God damn it. Pumpkin! <laughs> you are making it difficult to hunt, my friend. She is so sweet, but she's such a hellion. Yeah. I'm sure in a few years she'll settle down, but like... Right now. It's right just, now, it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Give me a moment. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if she didn't have claws. That's the thing. <laughs> you know? Like... Yeah. You can like, like oh, okay, you can ignore like a little annoying thing for yeah. a little bit. But, but this when, is like when it's digging into your thigh. <laughs> oh, so if I shoot that rock, now you just yeah, you just go around to the right. Eh. Oh, yeah, got 
gonna stitch okay. the cat up there. It's eating Joel. <laughs> Baby, stop. organic like also like it's been a while since like gameplay has like left me wondering like what's going on plot wise Sure, that won't be a significant person. Who's there? Come out. It's just me, Gail Warren. Hello. We just want to talk. Any sudden moves, and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Name's David. This here's my friend James. We're from a larger group. Women, children. We're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children. All very hungry, too. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat, then. What do you need? Weapons? Ammo, clothes. Medicine. You have any antibiotics? We do. Like the camp. Welcome to follow us. I'm not following you anywhere. Buddy boy can go get it. If he comes back with what I need. My well, name is Kevin. Yours. Anyone else shows up. You put one right between my eyes. Bottles of the penicillin in a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. <laughs> you know what's weird is maybe his buddy. I'll take that rifle. Of course. Back up. That would be very strange. He was holding that bow. <laughs> Be a while. You, uh, mind if we take some shelter from the cold? Bring him with us. Okay, so to start dragging, it's like 400 pounds. Yeah. I guess people would yeah. be inherently pretty fucking strong, though. The survivors. You really shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. I see. What's your name? Why? Look, I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. We'll see. This is one of the harder parts of the game. Oh, nice. <clears throat> you had another gun? Sorry. That establishes a lot of trust right now. It's like he could have yeah. engaged her in a gunfight. some practice.
Top of the window. Okay. These horrible fucking... <laughs> I see Ellie uh, subscribes to the Guns for Show Knives for a Pro ethos. You weren't kidding. You're a better shot with that thing than I am. Give me a hand with this. God, this is such a good like tutorial <laughs> setting. I need some sweatpants. You can just punch him. Get him off. Yep. Can't punch them though. She like instantly went veiny. That's interesting. Nothing over here. You've got other weapons, right? Clicker to your right. Clicker. You have to kill a clicker, you can't. Huh? You can't f punch the clicker. Right, yeah. So you gotta make sure you clear that above all else. He just went straight in. I think there's a guy to your left. Oh, no, never mind, sorry. Nice. Nice! Did he switch to other weapon? Oh god. Ooh. What you doing? Oh, 
was a good shot, man. Well, I had some even juice. Okay. Thank God. Do you know where you're going? Never set foot in this place. Oh, great. Lucky break. It's clear. This way. You don't need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, she's like a mini Joel. I love it. Mm -hmm. Stay close. Come on. Same like survival defense. Like that. <laughs> she's got rebar through her. You all right? Get out of there. They know how to write a good story. <laughs> what? <laughs> the answer's a rebar. <laughs> what a twist. Into my body cavity. Oh, that didn't kill him? Jesus. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Yeah, just go, just go. stairs though. Oh shit. Alright. Here you are. Come on. Go at this way. So close. We need to get up there. Yeah. That ladder could work. God damn it, this ladder grabbing so good. What are you doing? I'm just going in here forever. Here. Come here. Boost me up. Here. Ready? Huh? Yeah. Are you going to be able to handle this guy's replacement, Joel? You be quick. Keep a lookout for these. I'm trying to think what his like fucking off brand Joel name would be. You can headshot that guy with your bow and arrow. Oh. Really? Yeah. You can headshot clickers, you just don't want to make them otherwise. Uh we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm great. You're going the wrong way. Well, like how's he know which way we're going? Yelling at the yeah, that bugs me. For such an intelligent cave, that well, he's safe currently. I get why he would do it, but she yelled back. Oh, she's safe. Oh right, it's like okay. It'd be such a funny thing if it was like a you gotta go down dramatic like moment and he yeah. just like clocks you with the ladder and you die <laughs> like a mundane death come on kid come on buddy boy no You can switch your other weapon. I don't know if you have your other handgun. Do you don't have it? Okay. Yeah. No. She doesn't have much.
that's cool. It's just sad. Yeah, I think you need to go up those stairs. Oh, thank you. Got a bunch Jeez. of stuff. Looks like someone already bought those things and lost. Oh, shit. Why do they not have shoes on? <laughs> There's a bomb. Huh? A couple bombs, yeah. Yeah. Keep your eyes open for anything we can use. See anything? So what do we do? Choice. Get ready. Come here, babe. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You don't... God damn it. <sighs> the bow gets you every time. No, I was trying to just reload, I think. Uh, I think some will come around from the sides eventually. But I'm not. Nope. Oof. Oh man, that was close. Oof. So also, uh, uh, Ellie has a permanent, she has her knife, yeah. so she has like a permanent, permanent shoe. You, you're rich. You're lousy with bullets. Nature's lies. <laughs> I like how you just moved your head away. Oh. You might want to use your uh, bombs. Thank you. again. Nice. Stay away from that stuff. Good job, man.
So a little fun fact, uh, the guy who's talking is um, uh, Nathan Drake from Uncharted. It's oh, the that's same, the same voice. At, yeah, Nor North. Uh, he and uh, Troy Baker did a podcast, or like a YouTube channel together for a little while. Oh. Did they? Yeah, they went their separate ways. Um, I have to pee again. Okay. One moment. But this does seem like there's going to be a good... Yeah. Now, my preference, if this helps, would be to have, like, a interesting cinematic, like, or, you know, narrative and, or, you know... Blood. Something you can, like, chew on for a little yeah. bit. Similar to the last thing where it was like, oh, hey, like, mm -hmm. Tommy's here. Tommy! Tommy! Wait for this guy to be a fucking psycho. Well, you handled yourself pretty nice back there. Let's say we make a pretty good team. We got lucky. Lucky? No, no. No such thing as luck. Now, you see, I believe everything happens. I can prove it to you. Now, this winter, and that's been especially cruel. A few weeks back, I uh, sent a group of men out a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. Talked about a girl. He said that the others had been uh, slaughtered. Get this, he's a crazy man traveling. You see, everything happens for a reason. Now, don't get upset. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. James, lower the gun again. No way, David. I'm not gonna let her lower go. a gun. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Now, well, that's not your concern. Move the fuck out of the way. You won't survive long out there. Get out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, parking your horse in a garage is amazing. It's fucking awesome. That horse <laughs> looks like it is not doing so good. Joel? Oh. I only managed to get a little bit of food. <laughs> but I did get this. <laughs> Move your arm. What she probably did. Where'd he go? It's okay. Well done. That's it. We're gonna make it.
draw them away from here. Come back for them. <clears throat> so what I imagine the rest of this game is. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was very weird. Is her like going away, having a big confrontation, coming back. She's been successful, but Joel is like been bit. It's like finishing off a dude who saves her last minute. So any point at this point is a decent stopping point. Alright. My horse, rude! Alright. <clears throat> so what do you think? It's fucking fun. Yeah, uh... We made some good, some good progress today, yeah. I wasn't sure if we'd get past, uh... Fall. The university or not, yeah. Oh, a, there's a period. That, I mean, that's a big so turning point in the game. Yeah, there's so many drawers and cabinets. I mean, come on. yeah. Uh, but that's like, you know, that's a big turning point in the game. Yeah, that's fucking great. Playing as Ellie and, um, yeah, playing as Ellie. Like, I loved it. it was a pretty incidental like moment. That's what I wanted from this game is like how Joel got injured. Mm. It wasn't some like big dramatic oh, yeah, thing. Just, it was just like fell, I was like, oh, did I fail this encounter? Thing. And then it's like, nah, there's a little more going on. Yeah. Than just that. Yeah. 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 And it was a really that's a fast and effective way of setting up an antagonist. David? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean that's the thing is he's you know, I mean, you don't know if he's an antagonist. You know, like these these guys are mad. That's what what the dude James is like. You know, they're gonna be upset about this. It's because like you fucking killed their friends. Right, right, right. You know, uh, and the, that little thing there is like you know shooter. Yeah. Is like what about David? David? Yeah. You know, like fuck David. So there's there's like internal strife going on yeah. with these different parts that are happening. But yeah, the whole north. Of what if I talk like this? I'm David. <laughs> How you doing? That was fun. Um, yeah. Well, you are. Uh, you're making your way, making your way downtown. How much is left? Do you want to know? No, no, I don't yeah. actually at all. Uh, I would say that the the lion's share of the game is behind me. Well, no, I just the best moments are still to come. That's awesome. So. I mean, there's it. some great ones. Like, I, I, I like, I like Tess's introduction. I like when Tess dies. I like Bill. Um, the Sam and Henry ending obviously is pretty intense. Yeah. And then the, uh, the, the point in the, uh, the house where they're talking. Yeah. And he's like, "You're treading on some mighty thin ice here." Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of great great moments. Um, but yeah, you still got a lot. You got some really good ones coming up. It is fun. Yeah, I mean, if we uh, if we play on Saturday, I don't quite remember. Like, maybe we'll be able to beat the game. Sure. It could be one of those things where it's like the amount of gameplay. It's a lot longer than yeah. I think it is, oh, or maybe yeah. it, it could be shorter. Like, like I have an idea of what I think it is. But it might be one of those things just like, oh, no, I totally forgot this part. Or yeah. this part goes faster than I remember. Yeah. But yeah, man, you got you got some good stuff coming up. That was fun. All right, well, we'll wrap this up then? Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>